All right, I'm going to show you how to set up your Sign Up Genius for the February conferences. So we should all have a Sign Up Genius account. Uh, we just have to find that uh, username and password and log into our account. So we need to create a new one. So we're going to go up here to create a sign up. So we want to give it a name and they're going to ask you some questions. You can put your group, put your school, general education, theme design. So here you just pick what, um, you just pick what you want it to look like. So I'm going to click this one. This one looks cute. Now I can edit what it says. So this is the default. Please review the available slots below. Click on the button. You can click that little pencil and then you can add to the description. You could um, add a link in your description. Um, so you have quite a few options. And then when you're done, you can click done. And then if you're, if you like that, then we're going to click save and continue. Oh, shoot. So I, some of the, <laughs> so some of the themes are paid. So of course I picked the one that's not free, of course. Um, so I'm going to switch to this one. There we go. So that one is, wait, is that, yes, that one's free. All right. Sorry. Now, I don't want to type in all of the time slots. That just takes a lot of time, and we don't have a lot of time. So we are going to do sort by date, and then we are going to add dates. This is the big one. You do not want to add from calendar. No, 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 no. You want to add time slots. So you're going to click that. And then the date of the event. Now we have an after, we have an evening and then we have a morning. So we just have two days. So we have February 11th is the first date. So we've got start and then we're going to have it go February 11th. So it's it seems weird, but we're going to pick just one day. And we're going to do this twice. So our time range is from, I think, four p.m. to 7.45. So I'm going to put, yeah, so 7.45. And make sure you put p.m. And then the time slot increment. So I'm going to make mine do 20 minutes, but you can, you know, you can pick how long you want those conferences to be. And then location. So this is where you're going to put your Zoom link. So this is really important. So you want to click on that little um, camera icon and it's going to ask for your zoom meeting ID. So now I need to come over here and click zoom that us and I need to find my meeting ID. Now this is the meeting ID for my February conferences. So I want to copy this. So I'm going to copy that, come back here and drop it in there. So we're going to add 10 time slots. Now I need to do that again. So I need to do that again. So I'm going to add dates. And then once again, we want to add time slots. Next, we need to assign a slot to each of the dates you have created. So we're going to click Add Slots here. And then you want to enter the title of the slot as appointment or another suitable text and choose the number wanted for each of your times. For, so for example, it, you would put one as the number, and this will only allow one person to sign up for each time slot. So that's what that means. So I'm gonna put appointment. 
So I want appointment and all dates. Now that I have all of my slots right there, I can double check. I want to save and continue. Now in the settings part, you have some options. This comment section, we can edit this and you can change it. So instead of comment, you may want to put student name. Um, student name, I would make that required. Um, and then you can ask one more question. We can only have one question. Would you prefer a phone conference? So that's gonna be my question. And then the question format, I could have it be a text box, number box, drop down list. Um, and then, so the drop down values would be yes, comma, no. And then required. And we do only get one question, so that's our custom question. Um, now we want right here, this is real small. So let's look at that real close. So only name and comments are seen by participant. We can change that and we could hide the names and comments from participant view. So what that means is when your parents sign up, they won't see the other people signing up. Um, allow people to swap slots with these other, I'm going to take that off. That seems weird. Um, notifications, they get an email when people sign up. So that's great. And then they do get a reminder two days in advance. You can change that if you want. You could make it three days in advance, one day, you know, whatever. I'm going to leave it at two. And then I'm going to save and continue. All right, so when we are ready to publish, you want to look it over. So this is what it looks like for our families. And then if you click on participant form preview, so this is what it looks like. So this participant form preview, this is what it looks like for the families after they click on the spot that they want. So they put the student name here, their name, first and last name, email, phone number, um, and then would you prefer a phone conference? So this is what that looks like. They would select yes or no, and then they would click sign up now. So that's what it looks like for the families. And then when you're ready, you just click publish. So here's the link. You can copy the link and then share it with your families for the February conferences. All right. Have a great day.